Welcome to Shirley Shenanigans, where we're drinking and not thinking. How la freaking Louyers that Shirley's I, back in town. Oh, back from the Sunshine State. The it girl wasn't is back in town. <laughs> it wasn't a lot of sunshine. It was sunshine. And rain, <laughs> right? I mean, that was kind of my life down there, and I don't know. Yeah. Family is intriguing. That's all I got to say. My whole family <laughs> lives down there. So, And talking about Florida, we are in a um, tourist area in where we are in Florida. Hilarious. I have to tell this before we get in our episode. And I told <laughs> Mady before we started this episode, I said, I said, I have to tell you the funniest freaking story. So I'm at the bar, and I wear... I, a very distinctive perfume, and people say this to me all the time. What are you wearing? And I say, it's Tom Ford Santal Blush. And they say, oh, and I'll put it on in the morning, and this yeah. could be at 8 o'clock at That's night. Fine. My I, son wears Tom Ford. There's a men's version of that. Yeah, there's yeah. men's. It's like yeah. woodsy. and ex- yeah. eh, I can be some woodsy and exotic, <laughs> Mandy. Who knows? <laughs> so I'm standing at this bar, at the bar, and this girl, this girl and two other girls are saying, oh, my gosh, we smell you. And I'm like, oh, thank you. And they were like, where are you from? And I said, well. Did they say you smell good, though? Yeah. They- <laughs> <laughs> Shut oh up. Oh, my gosh, we smell you. <laughs> I don't I know. Well, thank you, Mandy. So Just saying. Three of them are standing there, and I'm getting beers for my husband. At this point, has already had it because we've been drinking all day. He's like, he's looking at me and Jacob and going, you know, pointing at his watch. Time, let's go. And, the, you know, with my son and I, yeah. the party's never over. So I'm ordering the drinks, and I did the whole thing, you know, where are you from, da 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 and I said, whatever. And so she's on her honeymoon, and she goes, she asked me, are you here for fornication? And I said, I'm sorry, what did you say? Are you here for fornication? I said, wait a minute, one more time, you got to say, are you here for fornication? And I said, Fornication? Of course, everybody's here for fornication. <laughs> the one Wait a minute, are you standing there with your son? Yeah, no. Oh, no. okay. But it wouldn't matter anyway, man. <laughs> That's true. So, for, fornication. And and I said, honey, slow, slow it down. Slow it down one friend goes, for vacation. And they go, and at, what is fornication? Oh, no. <laughs> so they had Where were they from? no idea from... Uh, Knoxville, Tennessee. <laughs> I was dying. Oh, my God. So they're from the U.S. <laughs> they're from the U.S. and had no idea she what the freak. She didn't know what fornication was. Nope, not oh even a clue. <laughs> oh, God. And none of her friends did. She goes, I'm here getting married. We're going out. Of- <laughs> That's even worse. <laughs> right? Her, her right? poor husband. <laughs> Wait a minute, man. He's worse than her. <laughs> no. So I uh, said, they, they said, oh, we're doing a, we've got to do a shot with you. And I said, all right, cool. And you don't do shots? No, I don't. <laughs> I was like, no, 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 not really. I really don't want to do a shot. So I did. My son's like, huh, who's this group of girls that my oh, my freaking mother's talking to? Us? <laughs> so, of course, he moseys over like he's a badass. So we go over to their table. Oh, and I said, oh, this is your betrothed. They're like, what the fuck does betrothed mean? I said, all right, <laughs> I'm bad at English. I think you all need an English lesson on what the shit well, that's means. That's really bad if Shirley's <laughs> teaching you English. <laughs> <laughs> Shirley's got her own Cheryl Bonics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so my husband uh, Chuckles comes over and he goes, maybe they're biblical terms and they don't read the Bible. <laughs> no, I don't know about that. I think uh, is pretty... But that was hilarious. Yeah. I mean, there wow. are some intriguing folk where we are in Florida. <laughs> yes. Yes. Very intriguing. Mm-hmm. Oh, so, so, I love Tennessee. Yeah. Oh, well, everybody I'm loves... I've been to Nashville. I've never been there yet. You haven't been to Nashville? Mm-hmm. Oh, we're making a trip. Ma- make it so, make it done. Mandy and I are going to go to Nashville. <laughs> I've been there twice. I'll be there yet. as many times as I can. can. I freaking love it. Yeah. It's like a drunk fest. Yeah. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> hey, one bar to Imagine the next. That. So if you get kicked out of one, there is 200 more you can go to. <laughs> Woohoo! Let's go, know. baby. Can you dance on the bars and stuff? Mandy can do... Yes. 
Really? Yes. Any bar you want to dance uh -huh. on, I really... I'm all about it. Unless you're drunk and you fall into their, Ooh, their yeah, pit nice. of uh, slime. Okay, well, you know, wash my back. <laughs> <laughs> wash your back or watch? Watch my back. <laughs> I wash my back. Oh, all right. So today we're going to talk about crazy-ass people <sighs> and they how people get on our nerves. And I'm sure I get on a lot of people's nerves. But there's some people in our lives that tend to have different qualities that piss us off. Of course. Like passive aggressive people. Mm. Everybody has one in the family that say something you know their underhandedness of saying oh, yeah, they're things. They're totally trying to rally up. Right. So yes. that it looks like you're the one who's yes. starting something. Yes. It's like a backdoor <laughs> in to give you a yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah. And they just like, how much can I rally you up, yeah. right? Yeah. And uh, so some of the things that they might say, good for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> freaker. Hey, good for me. Well, yeah, yeah, you little envious bitch or dick. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody's got to work around here. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, another one right? is, um, another one is, uh, I'm sorry you feel that way. Oh, no. <laughs> Contraire, mo frere. I don't even know. Mm -hmm. Listen, I'm sorry you feel that way, is that they have already have dominated what you said because they have trumped what you just said. Don't you think? Sorry you feel that way. Yeah. 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 So you're the moron <laughs> if you feel the way that you right. feel. Because the way you feel is wrong because the way they feel is Thank the correct you. way. Thank yeah. you. Passive aggressive. That's yeah, pretty good. Assholes. Mm -hmm. Yes. You've never used that line? No. <laughs> Mandy, I am not that harsh of a person. What the freak? I was just saying. Bitch. You bitch. No, no, I've never used okay. that line. I'm sorry you feel that way. Maybe to Chuckles. <laughs> no, even with him. I don't even think I've used that one on mm -hmm. him. I'm trying to think of some of the ones I we've yeah. heard. And then another one. Ready? It's fine. No, no, it's not really fine yeah. because you're pissed that you didn't get it your way or something didn't turn out your way. Right. And therefore, you're making me feel bad that it didn't go your way. Right. Oh, yeah. It's sure. fine. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, that's the other one. The whatever. <laughs> the whatever's of the world. Dale hates that word. Whatever. You know what? Today, whatever means fuck you. <laughs> right. That's what it means. It's Let's awesome. just call Basically. it how it is. Yep. Whatever means pretty much... Fudda you, bitch. Fudda you. Yeah. All right. Am I right, man? Oh, yeah, for sure. Whatever. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, I, like do, I do say it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, whatever. <laughs> but it is like, I don't know if it's a fuck you, but it's like, what is like pretty close? Pretty close. Yeah, man, <laughs> because you don't want to deal with the bullshit or whatever. Uh, whatever. It's just, so, you yeah. just know that the conversation isn't going to go your way. So you're just like, whatever. Yeah. Like, you think it's almost like um, agree to disagree. Yeah, exactly. Whatever. Exactly. Yeah. I hate that. <laughs> and when people put it in a text, <laughs> that is so an F to well, the U to the yeah. U to the U. Then you just kind of take it as an F you. Yeah. Oh, honey, yeah, that's an sure. F you. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> I would probably think that. If somebody ever puts in a text the word whatever. Yeah, that's. They might also just put the middle finger because they are just saying, <laughs> I hate you. I... Do they have that emoji yet? What, the middle finger? Yeah. Yes. They do? I don't yes. think I have that on mine. Or is that on everybody's? I don't think I have that. Mandy... I got to get that. <laughs> <laughs> Mandy needs, Mandy, you don't need the middle finger. Life so much easier. WTF is so long to write. What, tell me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wait a you don't have to. You just, you don't need the middle finger. You just. What? And then you, you put just the put finger. whatever. I'm telling oh, you. That's true. It does. It, it, anybody that d says that on a text is definitely saying, fud you. Yeah. Fud you. Fud you. <laughs> uh, another one is, uh, if you say so. Oh, that's a good one. If you say so. I think that's like so. an older an older kind of, mm. it's probably like our age, if you say that. So. is so condescending bullshit. If you say so, is making that person think that if you think you're right, whatever. It's like all these compilations right. of right. all these passive aggressive comebacks. If you oh, think so. <laughs> if, if you, you think so. so. 
Yeah, like you're a moron and you don't know what the hell you're talking about. I would, if somebody said that to me, I would give them whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Our kids would say that to us, though. I think that's like a person like our, age, our same age. Wait a minute, you don't think our kids I haven't heard use that whatever? In a long time. No, if you say so. I haven't heard that in a you long time. You haven't heard that in a long time? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I used to hear it all the time yeah. though, growing up, you know, but if you it say is, so, it's a good one. Very passive aggressive. Mm -hmm. Do not use it. Yeah, I agree. Okay, I never get this, but Mandy might. Mm. You ready for this one, man? I don't know. You're too sensitive. <laughs> I definitely don't get that because uh, I am not sensitive. You're not? I don't think so. Really? Yeah. Everything I would falls think off that my you back. would be sensitive. Everything falls off my back. I, whatever. Yeah? I'm a whatever. There you, are, there you go with the freaking whatever. 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 Whatever you think. That, that's freaking hilarious. I, I, seriously, like, I, I kind of brush it off, though. I don't take it to heart. So that would be sensitive if I took it to heart. I just like, whatever. Oh, Mandy, that is freaking funny. I can't funny. be bothered. I have enough stress in my life. I don't need your yeah. problem. See, the whatever is a, a clear... Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Okay. All right. I agree. So, and then another one that drives me insane for crazy ass people is self centered people. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Been around a lot of that. Yeah. Life is about them. Mm -hmm. The world revolves around yeah. them. The narcissistic, self centered people. Yes. You got to do what they want to do when All they the want to do it. And that's it. Oh uh, yeah, there's a there's, yeah, <laughs> there's there's a person. <laughs> Why I mean, I mean whatever. Everybody has that person in their family. Yeah, it's kind of like hey, you know, I need somebody to go out to dinner with, and you know, you go yeah, get yeah, there yeah. and you show up, and they're like they're done their meal already. Yeah, whatever they ordered it early, <laughs> and then up oh, gotta go. Gotta go. It's like you yeah. just you came mean here to, me to because... spend time with them. Yeah, yeah because yeah. they were by themselves, and then yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> and then leave you there by yourself. Yep. Another crazy ass thing that people do is okay. And I know all of you folk out there know that when people talk a foreign language in our country, mm -hmm. in front of you, and you're the only person there. So two of them are talking. You're sitting there or standing there, and you're part of a group, and they're speaking in a different language. Perfect scenario, the nail salon. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, I am. I, I was know. just there. Yeah. Well, they look beautiful, Mandy. <laughs> the uh, now, mind you, uh, the I do know curse words in Korean. Oh, do you? So uh, oh, now you got to teach me them. Oh, honey, they're really, really bad. Well, when they're talking, and then they just start laughing. And there's certain people coming in and stuff, but it's just like, okay, something's going on here. But then, like, they'll break out in English. Uh-huh. And then talk to the customer, like, oh, you know, nice to see you again, this and that. And I'm thinking, that is so much bullshit right. wrapped up there. To get, there's, like, five people talking and laughing, and right. all of a sudden, uh -huh. Oh, how and are then you? They look at what you? you Wait a minute, for? they're laughing and talking, but oh, then yeah. they look at you with this somber face. What you want? What do you need? <laughs> uh, you don't oh, want no. uh, extra pedicure? <laughs> but I say, because there's a lot of Koreans up here in Pennsylvania, I go, Anyaseo. <gasps> they jump back. But I wait for them to have a conversation beforehand. So then they're like, oh, oh no. we cannot talk Korean in front of you. I don't think so. I'm like, you're damn right you can't. Because I know all the curse words. So I don't know if you're calling me I, a so when you mother said, who after dog. I'm going to say, what does that mean? Hello, how are you? Oh, okay. So that's not even a curse word. No, Shapar. Is the worst curse word in Korea? Really? What's that like? Oh, I can't word? tell you. The, I can't tell you because it's so disgusting. Oh, really? Yeah, they hate the word thirteen. So if you said the word thirteen, how uh, do you say that? Like these are all things I don't want to because they're very <gasps> graphic Korean curse I words. Learn. I want to learn. <laughs> she wants to put her nail salon on check. Yeah. All she got to say is wait for them to have a conversation. Anya Aseo. Anya Aseo. Anya Aseo. Yes, that's close enough. Because Mandy, they will not. I think I pretty much. They will you. not say a conversation again in fear that you know Korean. 
What if you say Anya Aseo and then they start talking to you and you'd be like, uh huh? Just say, I, I just want you to let you know I know some Korean. That's all. <laughs> and then they can't talk that shit in front of you. <laughs> no talk in front of you. I guess mm. not. <laughs> so, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to forget that anyway. Uh, no, I'll, I'll, I'll be tell calling you. you right before you're gonna I go You're going to call in. me on the phone as you're sitting at the nail salon. <laughs> salon. What's that hello, how What's are that? you? <laughs> and, and if you want to say the worst word, call me too, because I know some really bad words in Korean. i got to learn myself some Vietnamese, because that's what's down in Florida to do the nails. Oh, really? So I'll, I'll figure that shit out. Okay. Um, mm, inside. Inside. Yeah. yeah. Another another one is that I can't, uh, people that drive me crazy are constant complainers, no matter what. Everybody has one in the family. No matter what in life, they what complain. What? Like complainers, <laughs> complainers. Are you a complainer? I am a complainer. I am a complainer when no, it comes I'm to not. food. No, I'm not a complainer. To food? Oh, oh really? Yeah. Oh God. Oh. Because are you I just people that like take forever to order something too. No, fuck you, Mandy. Okay. No, I'm not that person. No, I'm not a not one okay. of them. I. You just complain about the food when it comes out. Listen, listen, I don't send that shit back. That shit's not going. Gonna spit on it. And... Yeah, you're damn straight. I am yeah. very wise. I just say, yeah. do they want? Some, do you want something else? I'm like, no, thank you. <laughs> because I cook and I, yes, I do cook. Thank yeah, you very she does much. Cook. I don't. Uh, and I just know. I don't do good... wash either. <laughs> Mandy, Mandy's the homemaker. She knows how to pour a good beer. <laughs> that I can do. So. When I taste something and it tastes like shit or it's cold or whatever, come on. I say, I'm sorry. This is not good. And they already are saying, oh, here we go. She's a fucking bitch. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I know if I send anything back or order something else, I am going to have a booger, a pubic <laughs> hair, or um, a toenail in my sandwich or something. And, and it's going to be something intriguing that they put in there. So I always say I'm good. I'll have another beer, though. I mean, what can they really do to a beer? I guess they could because they do take the lid off. Right, man? Wow. Well, yeah, that would be a bad well, scene. You gotta... uh, I don't know. Unless you're getting it on tap, I guess they could do something. Well, no, yeah, they uh, and nobody gives you a beer with a with a cap on it. They always open the cap and then give you the beer. Right. Yeah. So That's that true. they could put some. They could easily spit in there, and I would have no clue. Well, I don't know. <laughs> That's the only thing I complain about. I do complain about my husband a lot of so days. So then you don't even eat the food at all. No, I'll drink beer instead of eating. Why? What? We're old, Mandy. Anything I eat just goes right to my gut. It does. But it does. The beer does the same thing, I guess. <laughs> I'd rather drink my dinner than eat it. Liquid dinner. Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. Um, and I also have a couple people in my family that are super negative. Everything is negative. Yeah. The world's ending. You know, I have them in my family. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think everybody does. Yes, everybody has that. Cheers yeah. to negative people. <laughs> I, I this know. is what this I don't is. Know if I want to cheers to them. So everybody knows, and let me reiterate that everywhere I go, she I did it again. Just so everybody's. Uh, what, what did I fucking do? You cheers and you didn't drink. Oh fuck! It's yes. Let me cheer. <laughs> let me drink. It's ignorant. Ignant. 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 <laughs> I bring what everybody calls my church bag. Right. To everywhere I go, it is in the back of my car. There's my roadie. Here's this. You know what my church bag is? My church bag is an insulated backpack with all my beer. Because I will not go anywhere without my church bag. And do you know one of why they call it my church bag? Is because my husband said that's the only place that she doesn't drink yet. <laughs> so therefore, they call it my church bag. So everywhere I go, I bring my church bag. Great. I'm going to start calling my bag so the church bag. Church bags, <laughs> uh, uh, yes. Patent it, mm -hmm. it's good. Mm -hmm. You can you can thank me. We call it the roadie bag. Yeah, call it the roadie bag. But, but like the church, church bag is, like is phenomenal. It, like it is that. a great a great term. <laughs> what? There's nothing in there. That's my church bag. Yep. But, it, but 
everybody calls it. Everybody that knows me knows that I'm bringing my church bag. They put a Bible on top so the cop says, let me look at <laughs> Wait a minute. That's <laughs> my Bible. I told you it's my church bag. Uh, I should put John right, 316 on it. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Wait a minute. I think about the verse that Jesus made uh, water into wine. <laughs> he, could he make it into beer? <laughs> hey, could he what? make it into Coors Light? <laughs> <laughs> he would come in handy right now, wouldn't he? What, Jesus? Yeah. <laughs> we miss you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> the Messiah brings us all cores light. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> so uh, another thing that crazy ass people, and I know you have these people in your life too, Mandy. I'm sure I do. You see that person across the room. Ah, oh, fudda doodle do. <laughs> Mandy can't pour a beer to save her life, but that's good, man. Eh, I just have um, too much of it. That come over, or they, you know, they're entering the room, and they, you know, they're coming to talk to you, and they are the people. Come here. That come here. Oh yeah. That talk to you like this. <laughs> so what's going on? How you doing? Uh, how's that life going? And and as they're talking, you can smell them. The spit's coming on you. You know what they had for freaking lunch? Get the freak away from me. <laughs> Nobody, Are this is saying, what is you this need. family or is this people? Anybody, just people. Oh okay. my gosh, I have people okay. at my country club and I, there's, there's one in particular. <laughs> I want to, I see her and I literally back my body up, turn around and run for the side door because... <laughs> You, you don't know get in coming. my space. Yeah, there's yeah, there's no personal space. No, there's no personal space. Yeah, and I, I have quite a few people. And that she are like spits that. so much. Oh, that's so gross. Le- oh, <laughs> 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 uh, and it's so obnoxious. Like back the freak up. That's when you put your shield yes. down. Can we bring back the COVID shield for people like that? Wait right. a minute. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. can say this is that blank blank shield. <laughs> oh, dear God. I don't know why people do that. And then they're looking at you. I'm like, what the fuck are you looking at? Like, why are you staring at my eyes? Is my makeup running? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, back the freak up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and they always smell. Yeah. yeah what and- is that? It's, it's so like they don't even know it because they are oh. obviously way too close to you. Way so, too like- close. Yeah, I get that. The yeah. tartar on their teeth, the plaque, the smells, the onions, the garlic, the five Ooh, it's years. It's usually of... garlic, big time. Oh, yeah, dear Jesus. For sure. I can't take it. So remind yourself, people that don't know personal space, freaking run for the hills. <laughs> Another one that drives me bananas mm-hmm. for crazy people, people who brag all the time. Oh. And Mandy, I know you hate this too. <laughs> I know I do. I know you probably have some stories of people that brag nonstop. Um, I do. There's, you know. <laughs> I don't think they realize they are though. No. No. It's just um, like a it's like a uh what we we call them the one ups. One ups? Yeah. <laughs> you always gotta one up your story. But and, why? What's the point and purpose? And you know, it's just because their life is so much better than yours. You know, so they always got to one up whatever blah, you're saying. Blah, blah. So it's kind of like the same thing. Like, yeah, uh, bragging my, about what, what they have. Yeah. My thought and process with people that brag nonstop is people that brag don't have. They have. Oh, I totally true. They yeah, have to give this illusion that. of. Grander. Because Grander. they're trying to keep up. Yeah. But if you have, you don't need to freaking brag. Right. Because it's once you're bragging, it's it's obvious that you're trying to let people know that you have something right. that you really probably can't right. afford. And it's not even about <laughs> material things. You wouldn't even be bragging about it if yes. you could afford it because it's not a big deal. You're right. just doing something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And it's and when you have money, you you just you do what you want. Anything. You don't you yeah. don't give a shit. Yeah. But that's material things aren't the only thing. When our kids were younger. And I know for a fact, Mandy, you had other parents that will come to the football field or whatever sporting events mm-hmm. or even in school. Oh, my child's just such an athletic kid. <laughs> and he wanted to, like, yeah. take a fork and jab them in the eye and say, who fucking brags about their kid? Am I right? Really? Honest to God. 
First of all, you don't need to brag about your kid. No. Actions speak louder it's than words. It's when other people come up to you and talk about your kid. You that, don't need to brag. Thank you, Mandy. Because it's other people saying to you in front of other people. Yes. Oh, my God, the only reason why I'm here is to see your, yes. you know, your son. He's thank amazing, you. Whatever. That's awesome. Yeah. But exactly. you don't need to say, my, my right. son or daughter <laughs> right. is the best on the team. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Cut the shit out. You don't need to brag about your kid. Because right. you know what? Everybody sees what's going on. You don't need to be their cheerleader. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Woo! My child's the best. That's true. Jolie, you're great. <laughs> Brian, you're the best. <laughs> yeah. Get off your shit. Nobody wants to hear you bragging about your kid. Am I right? I'm usually in the stance like this. Shit, we made it in. We caught all our... <laughs> <laughs> we have our church bag. We have our church bag. <laughs> That's all we care about. Cheers, our Mandy. Our hot chocolate. <laughs> our hot chocolate. <laughs> How long is this game? <laughs> oh, sweet Caroline. <laughs> <laughs> and where are we going after? Oh, my gosh. Hilarious. <laughs> You know, I, I just can't take that. And thank God those years are over because I literally wanted to jag out people's eyes. I would, I remember walking. I this, enjoyed it, though. What, people bragging? Um, I just enjoyed, like, the whole thing. Like, it was actually, it was almost, beca- it, it's a joke. What, people bragging about yeah. their kids? Oh, yeah, it's, like, funny. It <sighs> becomes a joke. When people come up to you and say shit about their son, it's like, <laughs> Yeah, you know, Yay. or whatever. Like, they even get angry in the stands, or they'll get up and they'll be yelling, and, you know, oh, oh. they should have passed it to my son, oh, whatever. That, da, yes. da, and I'm like thinking, well, yes. okay. And Mandy, that's a great point, because we both know these parents that would say, what to their kid? Yeah. What did you just effing do? Right. You effing suck. <laughs> exactly. And okay, and M- Mandy and I would be like, "Whoa, you just got Parent of the Year award. <laughs> right. Good job, buddy." Right. Yeah, exactly. Way to build up your child. You know, <laughs> I mean, I have seen men throw chairs against oh, yeah. walls mm-hmm. because their kids did not perform the way they should. Yeah, they're trying to Dear live through their kids. God. Yeah, yeah, it's bad. Don't you want to smack those people? That's some crazy ass people. And I feel bad for the kids. Yeah, you know they're just whatever. They're growing up. They're having. They're having. They should be just having fun. And you did say maybe it's not their sport. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's not. Maybe I, it's had, not. I had one guy one time say, "You're I, all right. I'm gonna offend somebody. I know for this first fact." But he says, <laughs> no. "You're playing like a girl." <laughs> And in front of about, all of his, about their son, yes. Oh gosh, that's not good. Yeah, and it's just what? What is your point that's here? That's like the most and insulting thing to say about to your being, son. Like, yeah, exactly, embarrassing for them. Yeah, that's bullshit. And what an asshole! Like, yeah, if you if you have parents like that, why don't come to my game? Yeah, don't 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 come to my game. Or tell you give your parents the different schedules. <laughs> that's actually, a great idea. Any kids listening? Uh-huh. Right now, yeah. Uh, I always oh, said, crap. Yeah. I thought I had that right. To parents, they used to do this shit. I'm like, action speak. That's louder all than know. words. Yeah. yeah. I didn't even know did Dina need to do louder than words. I said, action speak. I'll, I'll watch them. Thank you. And mm-hmm. I would walk away from them. And I would never want to have a conversation with them again. Because oh, yeah. you're saying how great your child is. And my son, same team. And they would give no accolades to my child. It yeah. was all about building Their your time. child up. Yeah. And when these people come into your lives, run, run, <laughs> run, run. They are people that you don't want to break bread with. You sure as shit don't want to have a beer with them. Am I right, man? Oh, for sure. Yeah. 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 Bye bye. Yeah. Bye bye. That, it's, I mean, it's, yeah. You're not going to get around it because they're, no. they're always there. Yeah. I mean, that, even the coaches and stuff, like if you know the coaches, mm-hmm. the coaches are like, oh, my God, it's a nightmare. Like the parents, especially yeah. if they get on the sidelines yeah. or something. Uh, it's oh, it's yeah, a shame. Never, we could get it's, into coaches, too. No, I, so we've had some interesting oh. coaches back in the day. Yeah. So <laughs> my, <laughs> my kids went to the high, same high school that Cheryl and I went to. Years and years, years ago. Years and years ago. So that was interesting watching that whole thing come about. Yeah. And, where my kids, I was just like, oh. fun Do you shit, knew man. This shit that happened on this field. Oh, 
I, uh, we we had some parties on the field. Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> those were the days. <laughs> yeah, the bus where I was climbing through the through the bushes and you couldn't find me. I was there. Oh shit, nuts, Mandy! <laughs> oh, the stories we have. We could entertain everybody for hours and hours and hours. Okay. In my You're, white pants. In your white pants, <laughs> Mandy in her infamous white pants. So, fifteen signs that. I want to say that I'm annoying, but maybe I really don't think she classifies with any of these 15 annoying signs that you're annoying. Uh, okay. and I, I don't think I classify as any of these signs either. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna right. to read them Test out to me you. On that. All right. The first one is you're never invited to any parties. Oh, okay. This, the, the, let me reiterate this is how you know you're an annoying person and people can't stand you. All right. Oh, okay. You're never invited to any parties. That's for sure. That's uh, like, that's like, okay, so that's like when you are the, um, when, you know, there's always one asshole in the group. Yes. That Yeah, that's one of them. <laughs> and if there's no assholes there and there's problems, you know you're the asshole. <laughs> <laughs> True shit. Right? <laughs> <laughs> There's problems going on and nobody yeah. else around you is an asshole. It's usually it's probably you. you. It's you. It's you. <laughs> okay, go and ahead. And if Sorry. you have a, no, it's all good. <laughs> if you have an event and nobody sh- really shows up. Oh, yeah. You freaking annoying. That sucks. Freaking annoying. Look at yourself. You're yeah. in a mirror. Why is nobody yeah. here? Why is yeah. nobody here? Exactly. Uh, Unless you suck at organizing and planning, that would be yes. me. Yes. <laughs> No, Mandy, you don't suck. last minute. You have a <laughs> schnot ton of friends. Uh, and, uh, like a photo, and you don't end up in it, and everybody's talking about it, right? <laughs> Oops. Yeah. We forgot you. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. Okay, another thing that you know you're annoying okay. when you're the last to know. Yes. <laughs> That's a good one. That's yeah. a good one. Yeah. Uh, that Not can happen sure. in family, too. Oh, yeah. Especially, oh, yeah, sure. not especially, especially, <laughs> especially when you know that person has a blabber mouth and they can't keep their freaking mouth oh, shut. Oh, yeah, nobody wants to tell you nothing. I'm going to say, all the, and I love my family, all of my the women in my family are blabber mouths. Blabber, blabber, <laughs> blabber, blabber. If you say, please do not say anything, you know for a fact, oh, you won't believe this, but <laughs> guess what, guess what, guess what? That's, that's, yeah, uh-huh. So don't I t- have to say, though, I think I'm actually really good with that. Not say anything. Not I say am, anything. too. If I say something to some, if somebody says something to me, I am not saying anything to Thank anybody. you, Mandy. High yeah. five to that. No, yeah, better, I want the better same than thing, that drink. Right? Cheers, bitch. And I am going to drink? drink. Fuck you. <laughs> I think that's the way it should be. Yes. Yeah, if somebody's saying, please don't then you say can this. That person. Yes. Yeah. And what is of the need of course to go anything. and... Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. That shit pisses me off. Yeah, yeah. I agree. You're, you're, you're asking for somebody's confidence, and right. literally, they're and not they in may the not have told for... anybody yes. but you. It, thank you, Mandy. So you need to confide yes. in that, and you feel like yes. that person confided in me to yeah. tell me something yeah. that they're really terrified that anybody thank else knows you. about it. Yeah. Yeah, you don't tell anybody else. And literally, there's people. You literally hang up and try and forget about it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you're like thinking about them and I mean, praying you're thinking for about them. them. Yeah. Yeah, but thirty course, seconds but... later, there's people that'll pick up the phone and say, "Oh, for sure." Guess what? Lucille oh, yeah. has blah blah blah, yeah. and she's she's uh, shanking shanking uh, Carl down the road. You know, I mean, <laughs> right. these are the people that yeah, you just can't cool. trust. That's not cool. Oh, I agree. Okay, another one is inside jokes. That go over your head when you're around a lot of people. That's uncomfortable. That's very uncomfortable. I think it's uncomfortable for everybody. Everybody. On the table. And that's rude of the people that are saying that. So these are these yeah. are just things that a psychiatrist said that, how do you know you're annoying? <laughs> yeah. So, but that I could say is that's ignorant of the people. That are actually doing Thank it. Thank you. Yeah. That's what I thought about that one. Because I, I think they're purposely... Yeah. Trying to make you feel like we're the cool ones. Like exactly. Like we know what's going on. Yeah. 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 To that one. Oh, whatever. Another one is trying to buy your friends. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-mm. No. No. You know what that a friend work. is? A friend is there not with their pocketbook. Your friend's there for the phone calls. Yep. 
to pick you up whenever you're down, uh, take you wherever you need to be. Uh, if I'm broke down in Alaska, I'm coming to get you. Yeah. And and I feel like I'm that kind of person, and I've been told that multiple times. Yeah, you might think I'm a bitch, but I am that kind of person. <laughs> yeah, you were always there. You were the I, first one there. I would always say, and even on the and if you can't be there, you're on the phone, right? And trying to walk somebody through whatever they're going through. Because one hundred percent, there will be a moment. She is crazy, but she is actually one hundred percent a great friend. Love you, love, <laughs> love you. you too. <laughs> so I I. Uh, to me, I always I want to have my base of friends that they know I can be there for them no matter what. And now my husband doesn't have that quality. He's like, eh, eh. What? And Leave you him on will, the side of the road. <laughs> and I don't want to diss my husband because he's got other great qualities. But that is something that I yeah. say. What do you need? I'm there. I'm I there. Am. And uh, okay, all right. But and I because I don't need my handheld. If you need me, I will go and do it for you. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. 100%. Yeah. I, and I think I'm that way, too. And I think, actually, Dale's that way, too. Dale's probably yes, Dale's very taught giving. me a lot. And he's very giving. And he's always there for somebody else. And, like, I was actually literally just supposed to leave out stupid things. Right. Like, it's something so stupid. But um, a friend of ours that's a carpenter was doing friends or doing work for um, – Somebody down the road, they needed to borrow my scaffolding. So I'm like, yeah, sure, you can borrow it. So I had to pull it all out. Actually, I didn't pull it out. Dale did. <laughs> Pulled it all out from the side of the yeah. shed. Yeah. Laid it all out, you know, so the guy could just back his truck up and pick it up. Yeah. But then he ended up calling out because of <clears throat> family problems or whatever. He ended up calling out of work, and he was home. And he's like, you know what? He ended up putting it all on a trailer, hooked up his quad to Aww. it. And then took it to the guy's job and dropped it off. That was so nice. Right. Like, that's but you, a, and this that's is, the way he is. Right. But you, you know what? Some people do stuff like that yeah. so they can get reciprocated for their actions. Yeah, he's not. And I am not like that. And unfortunately, he feels like he's never reciprocated. Right. And he's that's the guy sh- that says, every time I pull it out of the driveway, Jesus Damn it. There's somebody walking with their dog or somebody driving by or cutting through. And he's like, what is that? Every time I go to back yeah, out of my driver yeah. or every time I he goes to pull down I my know. street, there's a car coming. He's like, no cars here for the last half hour, but I'll make you it a You got to put speed bumps on your road. But no, <laughs> reciprocal things are very hard to come by. Ah, for sure. Because yeah. some people are just takers in mm-hmm. life. Mm-hmm. And there not some, I think a lot. A lot. Yeah, I am. I, I am. Are. Maybe I don't even know. I think more and more the older we're getting. But this is int- but. intriguing how we segued into this. But it's very, int- very interesting because yeah. people take advantage of those people that they know are going to constantly be there no matter what. Uh, for sure. And you know what? But I think we're older now and we understand the genuineness and affection and love for the the people that do that and I, I maybe you know people when they're younger or whatever listen i was a bitch but i never took advantage of anybody you know no no um i agree with the, the bitch part yes thank you Mandy. <laughs> thank you thank you i was i was but you know what <laughs> I wasn't a bitch to you. I was just a bitch to no, people no, no, that no. pissed me off because <laughs> I just was what? <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, the, this is our childhood memories. Hi, <laughs> you were just uh, you know. I, I was an intriguing folk. <laughs> you, <laughs> yeah, you were, Cheryl. And then all right, so we we'll get all, yeah. Another one was they whisper when they look at you. So if oh, there's a crowd yeah, of people. Yeah. And they're both looking at you, and they they're spreading That's almost you. like the the thing you were saying about yeah. the Koreans talking about your back yeah. and laughing. Yeah, it's like somebody whispering, and it kind of yeah makes you feel uncomfortable. Like if and you do that, you're a bitch yeah, or you're a prick. Cool. Do not do that shit. Yeah, you know how like high schooly that is. It's just it's kind of like you're already in the room, and somebody else walks yeah. in. Yeah. And you know that they're already uncomfortable. Yes, and you make you, them Mandy. more uncomfortable. Thank you, Mandy. It's like, why do you do that to somebody? Would you want yeah. to walk into a room no. and feel no. like you're not, I don't know, just, you're like I said, you're already feeling uncomfortable yes. walking in that totally room. Totally agree. Because Just because you're comfortable, Yes. now you need to jump on that person and make them feel worse. 
And and That's then awful. and then if you go over to them and ask them, were you talking about me? Was there something you yeah. know? Yeah, oh yeah. no no, it was nothing to do about you. You know what you say? You got to confront these people because we're old as shit now. <laughs> <laughs> fucking liars. You lie, lie, lie. You so were talking about me, and I don't need you in my life because I. you looked right at me, both of you, and had that comment. Yeah. So you know what? Yeah. Fight of you. Fight of you, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I agree. Another one is no one asks how you're doing. They don't ask about your life. They, right. they, it's all, it's all about them. Thank you. Mm-hmm. And that's, so if, <laughs> if you're that annoying person. Yeah. But that is not always true. This is what the psychiatrist or psychologist says. If, if you're annoying, I know, but there's some people that are narcissistic that never ask about you. So it could be a dual bullshit thing. That's true. Right? Yeah. Because I'm around a lot of people that just want to talk about them. Yeah. Or you could be a person that has been like stuck in with so many issues and you finally get out and like all you can do is talk about all the shit you've been going through. <laughs> and throwing it all up on somebody else. Like, you know, you have to realize you're doing that when you go out because <laughs> that might be frowned upon a little bit. And then uh, another one is the awkward silence. Of, no. Oh. oh I, I think that might be the worst. The uh, worst. Yes. Because that, yeah. Because then you think, <laughs> Oh shit! Did I say? Did I do something? Mm-hmm. What did I do wrong? Yes. Like they're really not talking to me. They're not or giving me eye same contact. Thing, same thing with like the whole, whole thing you were saying with the um, like people are, have their own personal joke about something. Yes. So is somebody not saying anything because you said something? Now you feel awkward, and they know what's going on, but you don't. Yeah. Well, wait a minute, me. That's, we're old sucks. now. Do that you sucks. feel like you? I don't. You want to ask? I do it. Oh, I will ask. Like, what's the deal? <laughs> what's, what's going, going on? on? Yeah, yeah. And and one of you have apprehensions going forward. Oh, for sure. It, it, like, if you were invited to another event, yeah. And the I'll thing w- is, when you ask what's going on, They'll that say, makes oh. them completely uncomfortable. Well, good for that. Right. Screw them. Right. That's the whole you know purpose what? of it. So yeah. you know, okay, now you feel like I just felt. And you're yeah. making me feel like it's my issue yes. putting that on you. But no, you actually started it. So I want to put this all in a box for you <laughs> with personality. The big box. The big box. As <laughs> the uh, Confucius chuckles. Confucius says. Yeah, Confucius chuckles. Confucius says. The Confucius chuckles, which is Chuck. I don't even know if the young kids know who Confucius is. All right. Oh. You need to look him up. All right. They don't he's know what fornication. They don't know what the truth is. <laughs> Confucius. Confucius chuckles, which is my husband, says, mm-hmm. you always got to do the 80-20 rule. 20% don't like you. 80% does. So fuck the rest. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? If you had that in the back of your head all the time, not everybody's going to like you. So get over your shit. Yeah, for and sure. And be happy. Live mm-hmm. life, yeah. and if that person don't like you, then touche, mofo. Right. And half the time, when that person doesn't like you, it's usually their issue. Thank you. I would A think. lot of shit's jealousy I would think. or ooh, ooh, Unless ooh. it's more and than girls just are them catty. that don't like you. Unless, unless you're adding up that 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. <laughs> Now you got 100%. There's an issue with you. <laughs> like I said, if there's no asshole in the room, you might be the asshole. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. You, we need, the... you need to keep track. <laughs> Add that shit up. <laughs> right? Uh, uh, your, yours might be the 2080 on the <laughs> <Yeah>. other end. <laughs> might be 8020. <laughs> In that case, uh, 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 check that box. Oh my gosh! This is do some inside work. <laughs> uh, this this was a great episode. <laughs> All right, we're gonna cheer you on out. Yep, great, great to great. be with you again. Same Thank round. God for coming back to good old Yay. Pennsylvania <laughs> and Shirley shenanigans, where we're drinking and not, not thinking. thinking. And follow us on all social media platforms and tell us what you think. Follow on all of them 
because Manny and I definitely need some beer money because oh gosh, uh, sure. we're not even sampling anymore any beers in the beginning of the episode. No. So still drinking a lot though because I got to pee. Yes. Yeah, Mandy, we're not peeing on the seat today. Please, nope, sweet I'm Caroline. Not. Jesus, do not pee on the we're seat. We're almost done. We're okay. Almost done. I'm doing Cheers good. out. And cheerio, mofo. Peace out. Peace out.